here in Bali, the toss-up between the U.S. and China to be economically dominant in this region has been the talking point of the summit. Underlying it all is the assumption that only one can win. Is that really true? Well, in this case, don't blame the economics. After all, free trade agreements work better the more countries are involved. There's more diversity and more benefits. That's why economically the biggest prize is to get all the countries into one organization. But the World Trade Organization has been going nowhere for 12 years. Economically, if not everyone is in it, then it is a zero-sum game. In this case, blame the politics. When a country signs a trade agreement, there's negotiations and concessions. There will be losers, even as the overall economy gains. That's why it's hard to pass more trade measures once a big trade agreement has been signed. The political costs are just too high. This is why it matters who's first in Asia, China or the U.S., because they'll get to set the terms of trading with the world's fastest growing region. Right now, for all the countries, it's all about grabbing what you can and trying not to be left with nothing.